Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 155. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Oh my god, it's been a while. Six months since I last recorded a video. Six months since I last streamed. It's been some time. But uh, today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the Class B Super Lap Days. Uh, we're, I, I believe we're still taking the BMW that we drove the last time. Um, so the first race will be around Fujimi Kaido. Second race will be around Nürburgring Nordschleife. And then the last one will be Rally di Positiano. I'm going to completely fuck this. <laughs> Let's get going. I'm going to turn the music down a tad. And I need to double check. Um, I think the gameplay audio is a little bit too loud. So I'm going to turn it down a tad. I'm going to do this race. And then... Uh, we're going to have a look. Physical Twitch Prime. Yes, this coffee is my physical Twitch Prime today. <laughs> uh, it's been so long since I played Forza that I've completely forgotten how the handling mechanics work in this game. I've been so used to F123 now. I've played so much F123, you have no idea. The game's been out for a week and a half. And I have... I want to say 50 hours in the game, which is an insane amount of hours for a week and a half. Like, I think it's going to be close, but I think F123 is going to be my most played game. I saw the notification every time at the stream. Oh, yeah, you have an idea. You saw... I thought you misspelled stream then. That's why I was like, ooh. No, on Steam... That's the problem with Steam, is everything sounds like it. And I keep getting confused. <laughs> like, uh, one of my mates was talking about the Steam Deck. And I was like, do you mean the Stream Deck? And he was like... No, the Steam Deck. And I was like, but you're talking about, like touch portal and the buttons. That's the stream deck. That's not the steam deck. It, 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 they all sound the same. It's crazy. But yeah. Because <laughs> obviously every time I go on F123, it comes up. Mechanic CG is playing F123. <laughs> 10 IQ move, not gonna lie. 100%. Small brain moment. Rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I came, I saw, I came, I saw. I praise the Lord, then break the law. I take what's mine, then take some more. It rains, it pours, it rains, it pours. I vibe with this song so much. <laughs> you came, oh my. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know, now, now that you say it, it does sound a bit sus. You came. Why? What are you doing? I am not looking forward to my emails, though. <laughs> you said it first. Da da da. The Lord will break the law. So, uh, Hans, how is the audio sounding so far? Just to everything in general, how's the cars sounding? How's the, uh, what's it called? The game audio sounding? The music? Everything together? Is it all sounding good? Or is there anything that needs adjusting? Mm. 
music is too low. Fair enough, I thought so. Praise the Lord and break the law. I can always modify the game audio on the fly anyways. Why is gameplay video? I'm gonna have to have a look at that in a sec. I don't know why, but gameplay video has an audio level for some reason. It shouldn't have an audio level. As it goes from your head. Yeah, I can turn it up. No worries. Skrillex. Right, gameplay videos now. Trying to do two things at once. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> I also forgot that um, Forza has damage as well. Lovely. Hopefully that audio volume is a little bit better. Why am I getting a phone call? Brother, I'm streaming. Okay, well, my phone is now completely glitched out. Why can I not tell- why are you ringing me? I know Alex is watching. I have no clue why Alex is ringing me, because I know he's fucking- <laughs> Why is it that every... Th so, for some reason, right, on Android, they have a nice feature where if you press the volume down button, uh, it mutes whatever calls co going through. Through your phone. It's, this race is going to be horrible. I'm going to look back on the footage and it's going to be cringe because I've completely messed up every single section of this. But, um... Yeah, if you press the volume down button on Android, it just straight up mutes the, what's it called? The audio and everything. So you can actually sort of put something. There we go. Honestly, NVIDIA broadcast is bugging me. So I'm going to have to work out a way to get this cable out of the way. Because my mic keeps disconnecting and then reconnecting. I think he's fucking everything up. Technical difficulties, but we roll with it. <laughs> Played too much FH4, so you forgot that it has damage. Yeah. I played quite a lot of FH4 yesterday. Played about three or four hours. And I realized that FH4 is an amazing game compared to FH5. And FH3 is even better than FH4, but FH4 is actually quite an enjoyable game. And if they mess up Horizon 6, we'll go back to Horizon 5 and be like, oh, this was actually quite enjoyable. 
But Horizon 5 just meh. It's so shit. Horizon 5 is so shit on so many levels. Like, the thing is, the car mechanics and everything like that, it's fine. But in an open world game, there has to be stuff to do. And it's just boring. There isn't any stuff to do. Yeah, something tells me that my uh, engine is a little bit fucky-wucky today. There we go. That is the first race done. I had an absolute stinker with that one, but... <laughs> 14 grand. Obviously max level and max car level as well. Very nice. So the thing is, right, so now that I obviously work where I work, I pay attention to a lot of, like, movie releases, movie news, and whatnot. And obviously Barbie, right, Barbie movie. We all know the Barbie movie. Me and the boys going to watch the Barbie movie. That meme? Yes. Um, Barbie's coming out on the 21st of July. But their marketing department for that movie is so insane. They've added... They've made, like, pink houses. Um, they've made collaborations with celebrities and whatnot. And they've even put a pink Corvette, convertible Corvette, into um, Forza Horizon 5 as part of this promotional thing. And it's insane. It's crazy the amount of marketing that that has done. Horizon 5 gifted us the Hummer EV with cow leather wheel and small, smaller old Barbie Corvette. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. The amount of stuff that they have added is unreal. Oh, I'm so used to turning a little bit earlier because in F1 you have to sort of preempt your corner a lot more. If you haven't played F1 23 and you have EA Play, 100% need to give F1 23 a try. Because F1 23 is one of the best Formula 1 games that they have made in a long time. 100%. I think the last Formula 1 game that I enjoyed that much was F1 2017. And 2017 wasn't even... This just feels solid. It feels good. What kind of bothers me is that old pink Corvette is an EV as well. Is it an EV? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. No, I'll pass on that. An electric Corvette? Seems like an abomination. It's so easy if you wait another night. I love this song. I got no clue to be fair. Magic batteries. Just go with the flow. Do you know, the one thing, I, I'm going to have to work out the order that I've done the thumbnails in for this. Oh, I haven't fixed the screenshot button. Oh, I'm going to have to have a look at that. Baby, let's drive into the night. Otherwise, I'll just have to use VLC. I think I might just have to use VLC. I think it'd be a million times easier. Yeah, I'll use VLC for now. There's no place for it since it's shrink down as well. It runs on four AAA batteries. <laughs> Imagine that. 
uh, I can't remember what it was, but there was an advert, and it was a it was a Mercedes one. Um, it was obviously like a comedy sketch advert thing, but it was about how the car runs on batteries, like AA batteries, and it was like just pull this tab, and then it pulls a shit ton of yeah a Mercedes A class. It pulls a shit ton of AA batteries out the front, and then there's another pocket that's got a shit ton of AA batteries and another pouch and another panel and everything. And the whole car is made up of like 80% AA batteries. And it's like, it's pretty funny. Yeah, that's it. That's the advert that I'm on about. That is so funny though. Just get up and go. Really bar world bar. I forget that it's got all the names of the, uh, what's it called, on here. It's so easy if you wait a little Do I, YouTube support is going to be annoyed with me? Because I'm going to be the one clogging up their servers and all their bots and everything today. It's going to be like, ah! We've got to send this one guy a thousand emails. Nice. I am going to have to set up like an automation rule on, uh, what's it called? Um, thingy. Uh, what am I thinking of? Outlook. That automatically puts any copyright claim emails straight into my... Um, into a separate folder. Maybe deletes them after seven days, I don't know. Because I'll just have thousands of them. By the end of the month, I'll have over a thousand. 100%. So uh, as well, the plan is, obviously I'm going to do this 16 hour stream. I'm not going to stream tomorrow, because I would have done a 16 hour stream. I think that's mental. Uh, and also tomorrow I'm editing all these videos up into like their final forms and whatnot. Uh, and then, Thanks for delaying my emails for activations of get security codes. You're most welcome. <laughs> Shit. It's a good song. I like this. Um, yeah, so the plan is I'm hoping to maybe do a short stream on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. Just a short little bit to boost stuff up. Uh, it depends what I'm doing Tuesday as well. Because on Monday and Tuesday, I'm going to meet people during the day. Hence why it's going to be a short stream in the evening. Um, so I'm planning on doing those streams. And then maybe on Wednesday, I'll edit Monday and Tuesday streams. And then stream again. And then after work on Thursday, I can edit more. I don't know. I have to see what happens. I'm very much in a stage of go with the flow with my life right now, so I'm just like, ah, eh, fuck it. See what happens. Hey, hey. Come on! Nice. Coffee. I should probably put some ice in that. Make it an ice coffee. Better idea. Um, what on earth was that notification? I saw a notification on my PC. 
A. 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 Oh, it's fucking everything. Oh, it's Logitech. That's what it was. Fair enough. G-Hub is doing some shit. I love that. My CP As soon as I start recording, GPU is at 40%, CPU is at 30%. There is so much that goes on behind the scenes on this stream that my PC is constantly... I mean, to be fair, 40% load is like 25% in reality. But... Yeah, my GPU and my CPU are just chilling, but they're definitely working. I can tell you right now, my setup is using a kilowatt an hour. An hour. So, based off of numbers, um, I'm working out that I'm going to use about five pounds of electric today. Just, just for this stream. Five pounds of electric. So, fun. Yes, I'm going to be playing with dominoes. Dominoes. Let's get the delivery driver to make an appearance on stream. How about that? <laughs> that would be funny. I don't think it'd be funny for him, but it'd be funny for me. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. This is such a good one. Dope is actually a really, really good metal band, but... <laughs> Crank the power up, make the game on 4K Ultra++ plus plus graphics. Fucking hell. I would love for them... I, I don't want them to remaster Motorsport 3, because that just defeats the purpose. It, it would be cool, but... It's its own time, you can't really remaster it. What I would like to see is some of the tracks from Motorsport 3. This one in particular... I mean, yeah, you can PC port it and whatnot, but it's not... Not as straightforward. I wouldn't be able to run it on the PC and stream at the same time. Because I've got so much stuff running in the background. I don't have a lot of PC to sacrifice, if that makes sense. But yeah, this would be one of those tracks that I would love to see remade in a modern Forza game. Out of all of the tracks though, right, all of the custom tracks that have ever been made in Forza, most of them have been gotten rid of, except for Maple Valley. Maple Valley is the one track that they decided, do you know what? This is going to be our track. This is the one we keep, and I'm baffled as to why. Because this is such a nice circuit. I mean, I, I don't understand, I understand how businesses, like, they don't like investing money into stuff, 100%, but I don't see, right, the thing is, to get a team of people to port games to other platforms, you think, okay, if, if you get a team of five people, each one of them paid $50,000 a year, right? So, that's a quarter of a million for the team to be able to port a game to another platform. I can guarantee you, if they ported Forza Motorsport 3, sold it at £50, or $50, right? All they would need is 50,000 sales. I can guarantee you they would get 50,000 sales of Motorsport 3. Even it, and the thing is, a team of five people porting a game, that's quite excessive as well. And that is on the off chance that that team takes an entire year to port that, would cost them 250000 If it took them three months to do it, it's only a quarter of that. Like, from a business standpoint, obviously they need to do licensing and whatnot, but... 
I don't know. There's so many games out there that I think they could quite companies could quite easily benefit from remastering, remaking, or porting over to PC. Hundred percent. I can remember though when they announced um, Horizon. I think it was Horizon 3. When they announced Horizon 3, the hype around that game was amazing. I, I just wish we had that same hype with new Forza games. Because the hype when Horizon 3 was announced and everyone was going, oh, it's brilliant. Because more and more people are turning towards PC nowadays and long-term usage. Easily repairable compared to a console. Yeah, 100%. PC gaming is 100% more superior. The only problem is that PC gaming requires an insane initial investment. Obviously, the first part of that investment is the fact that you now have to start an entire new library. There isn't even the chance of half of your games are backwards compatible or whatnot. You have to start an entire new library on Steam. The, the other part as well would be the fact that there's multiple platforms that you can buy stuff from. Again, another sacrifice that you've got to make. Yeah, you don't need to have Game Pass for accessing games and whatnot. Um, but another problem as well is the fact that it's just more expensive. Like, that initial investment is insane for uh, whatever thingy. PC gaming is insanely expensive, and it's why it took me a while. Like, I had to save up for my PC, and once I had a PC, I was like, well, there's no point in the consoles anymore. Because it is so worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh.